G'day, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. This is our slice of paradise. 250 mature olive trees and a big white house up here on the hill, and a high-tech fab lab down in the town. We run a small IT business, brew alcohol, press olives, teach young geeks, <laughs> grow fruit and veg, hunt, farm chickens, and experiment. But today we're doing hydroponics down on Geeko Farm. Hydroponics. It's a hot topic around here, usually with connotations of frondy plants and smiling, glazy-eyed young farmers. But for us, it's a source of fresh food all the year round. We've been doing it for about 20 years, so we've got a fair amount of experience and spare parts. Uh, but we're going to cover it now because we've moved in, we're starting up a new system, and it's a good time to show people how it's done. Hydroponics work well outdoors, but wind is a killer that will bend, break, and even blow your plants right out. So we use a greenhouse. It's not so much to keep the plants warm, but to keep the weather off. High winds here will shove blown branches straight through a polytunnel, so we need the rigid frame and polycarbonate panels of our greenhouse. We've concreted well in, and it's a Titan 914 greenhouse with some extensions which we got from Hunking Garden Products. It's 7 metres by 2.7 metres huge, and it cost us about 3,500 New Zealand dollars. So our hydroponics system does away with soil and pumps just the right amount of water around the system. Not too much, or the plants drown. Not too little, or the plants dry out. Uh, periodically, though, we do let all the water drain away. Um, it stops the roots from rotting and it saves us a bit of electricity. Our tank has to hold enough water to drain the entire system. When you're designing a hydroponic system, start at the lowest point first, which is the drain tap on your holding tank. The pump connects at roughly the same level, maybe a little higher up to let the crap settle to the bottom of the tank. Once the pumps pump the water around the system, it needs to drain freely into the tank, otherwise your runs will back up and flood. Make sure that the ends of the hoses aren't actually in the water. A ball cock valve lets the water in, topping up what the plants use. The pump is a 100 watt mains pump, capable of pumping 6 litres a minute up to a 2 metre head. As the pipes have frictional losses, you need more head than you think. Thicker piping has less loss, so as we expand our system, we'll swap to this thicker 20mm pipe throughout. The pump water goes through the thinner feeders that point into our troughs. These go down a 1 in 40 slope to the drain. The troughs always have flat bottoms with the roots spreading out over a thin film of water which oxygen can get through. Round bottom troughs drown the root systems so don't use them. The plants sit in little bag baskets of clay beads to support the roots. Sometimes we use vermiculite which is basically mica popcorn. We print small pots and we buy the big ones because they're not worth printing. So that's our hydroponic system. Later, we'll cover how to add nutrients to it, and we'll take a look at what plants do and don't like hydroponic systems. But for now, that's your lot on Geeko Farm.